Hey everybody, welcome back to Upstate Speed Tests. Today we're going to be speed testing inside and outside of the John Lally Athletic Complex on the south campus of Syracuse University. Now typically I'm not really a fan of voiceovers, but given the noisy environment, I figured I would just voice over the first part of the video. This is a huge athletic center, not as big as the Carrier Dome, but still pretty big. Uh, and there were thousands of people on site for this graduation ceremony. So starting out with Verizon Wireless, uh, Verizon definitely kind of struggled in here a little bit. The service was not totally unusable, but it was pretty slow. I mean, if you had to download or upload files uh, over this connection, you'd be struggling quite a bit. So uh, we're starting out, we got a 9.42 download. The upload is going here at four, a uh, little over five. And the uh, ping times are very good though. There's not really, it wasn't really a laggy connection. You got a 44 millisecond unloaded ping. The download ping is great and the upload ping is really high. I would probably attribute that to people sending lots and lots of graduation photos and videos. So we'll run the test again here. We've got, uh, it's struggling to break 100, but we're gonna get over it. And again, 48 millisecond unloaded ping, which is really good. The loaded ping on the download is actually pretty good for Verizon, uh, actually pretty good in general for mobile, and jitter at 11. Upload is going to be pretty slow. Again, I attribute that along with the high, high loaded ping times on the upload to the number of people on site. The system uh, upload bandwidth is just getting crushed here. Uh, so we'll, we'll do another test again here uh, running on Verizon. Or I'm sorry, we're running on T-Mobile now, although the indicator uh, is stuck on Verizon for some reason. But you can clearly see UC in the corner, and uh, clearly T-Mobile crushing it here. 74 millisecond unloaded ping, which is a little high, but the download is just crazy given the number of people here. 638 megabits per second. The ping uh, jitters at 9, which is fine, and the uh, loaded ping times are both very respectable, again, for mobile. So moving on, next up we're gonna do Boost Mobile just for kicks. We've got Boost running a 76 millisecond unloaded ping. Download is at 132, which is really good as my wife gives me the eyeballs in the corner there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, 134 down, jitter at 20. Loaded ping times are kinda getting up there, but not terrible. 10 megabits per second on the upload. So Boost, very usable here in Syracuse. And yeah, just to give you guys another uh, look at how crowded it got, especially as time went on, it got even more loaded. And then moving on, we got AT&T here starting out with a super high loaded ping at 106, although I guess it could be worse. Uh, the uh, loaded ping times are pretty, pretty good for AT&T actually, better than I'm used to seeing in the Binghamton market. And the download is struggling to break 100. But again, overall, AT&T, very, very usable here. You wouldn't have any trouble streaming or updating apps or downloading an app. And the upload's uh, pretty okay. We're getting about 20, just under 20 megabits per second. Uh, the loaded ping times are pretty high. Again, probably due to high demand on the network in this location. And uh, just for kicks, here's Verizon running on my wife's new S24 Ultra. She got this uh, phone as an insurance replacement, so that's pretty good. 48 millisecond unloaded ping. The download uh, is doing much better than the iPhone did. Uh, we're getting 150 down. Loaded ping times are very high. The upload is really good at uh, just around 50 here. And uh, yeah, so overall, I don't know what was going on with the iPhone, but the S24 Ultra pulling much better speeds. Today's video is brought to you by Circled In. Circledin.com makes it super easy to get the benefits and savings that come along with a postpaid or prepaid wireless account without having to set one up yourself. Let's take just a second to see how easy it is to use circledin.com and save a ton of money on your wireless. Starting out on the circledin.com homepage, I would start by clicking all circles. Once the page loads, you can sort by postpaid or prepaid providers like Verizon, T-Mobile, Google Fi, Simple Mobile, and Metro. If you see a plan that piques your interest or you feel fits you best, you can click join circle. 
read through more details about the plan, and if you decide to go for it, you can click Reserve. Circled In also now supports streaming services like Netflix, Disney, Hulu, HBO Max, and more. CircledIn.com, check them out today. Thank you again for supporting the channel. All right, we're on the outside of the Lally Sports Complex. I hope I said that correctly. And uh, we're here on the campus of Syracuse University. There's another giant field house right next to us. Looks like you got at least two providers up on the water tank there on the hill. So we'll run all three at the same time for the sake of saving time, if you don't mind holding that, thank you. And keep all of them in focus. Your wheel's a little annoying. There. There, okay. All right, so AT&T running on the Google Pixel 9 XL. Verizon running on the new S24 Ultra, well, new to my wife, S24 Ultra, and T-Mobile down there on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So you got Verizon pulling 831 down, T-Mobile 990, so these two, Verizon and T-Mobile, running very competitive with each other, and actually AT&T competitive as well, 854 on the down, 73 on the up, so... Wow, AT&T taking the gold crown in the upload department here. However, it uh, looks like Verizon. Verizon actually has the best latency, which is unusual. I'm not used to that. The loaded latency is the best on Verizon. So actually, it looks like Verizon overall is performing the best in this particular location. Let's do, um, let's right. do one more test. My wife is a shrill for Verizon, I guess. And, Did uh, you mention that this was a graduation and therefore very busy networks? Yes, it is a graduation. There's There were at least a few hundred people on their phone outside when it let out. So I would suspect Verizon to be the most congested, but it wasn't. Uh, let's do T-Mobile to Cornell University. Uh, we'll do AT&T to Northland. And uh, we'll do Verizon to... Uh, Let's see, green light networks, how's that? So they're all on different servers, but the servers are all in the re uh, relatively the same area, so it shouldn't affect performance too much. <clears throat> all right, so Verizon taking off here. AT&T rocketed right up. And T-Mobile, uh, T-Mobile's actually not producing the fastest speeds, wow. Uh, inside the building, you will have seen or see, depending on how I edit it, that T-Mobile held up the best. Again, T-Mobile at 2.5 gigahertz, so the, the spectrum's a little bit more uh, conducive to indoor speed. So final results here, we got Verizon at 844 with a 70 up, AT&T 846 with a 73 up, and T-Mobile with the worst results, T-Mobile 771 down and 10 up. So, wow, uh, in this particular spot, it looks like uh, Verizon overall performed, I would say, the best consistently, but T-Mobile's uh, no slouch in this location either. So there you go, there's all three providers outside of the field house here. I did do Boost Mobile on the inside, uh, but I'll just leave that result for what it is. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.